What's up everybody, VHE Tutor here. Welcome back, and today I'm going to show you uh, how to incorporate prefabs and models in Jack Editor because it does not actually support prefabs. Um, so there's a way kind of around that, uh, which is um, prefab maps. So uh, I'm going to show you how and where to find them and how to incorporate them. So uh, let's get into it. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the whole Half-Life because the whole Half-Life is kind of my one-stop shop for model packs and all that sort of stuff and prefabs, uh, but also we'll be using Game Banana at the same time. So um, when we come here, um, you're going to want to go up to the vault because that's where everything is stored. And um, to see everything we want for Half-Life, uh, I'm going to filter out here. I'm going to go Game Half-Life. And I'm going to go type, I'm going to go models and prefabs, and then I'll hit search. And this is going to give us a pretty good um, selection of things to search for here. Like, look at this. We got a scissor, list, scissor lift prefab. Like, that looks pretty cool. Check that out. Um, and it's fully working, too. That's the great thing about the Half-Life community is that um, people are creating things and sharing things. And um, that's, that's the beauty of it. And that's why it's thriving still. So specifically what I'm looking for here is on page two, it's the Zen and Military Invasion Update, um, which is the RIM, he calls it the RIM Pository version 1.06 by Rimrook. This has more things than you would think that you would even need or want. Um, so we're going to go ahead and download it. And I am going to save it to my very messy but prefabs folder that I have here. And I'm going to rename it so I know what it is. Rimrook 106. Okay. And then Rimrook 1.06. And I'm going to extract it here. Send zip. And you'll see that there's these map files, models, and textures. Which, if you're going to use the models, uh, you do want to put them in your valve folder or mod folder. Um, so I'm just going to go into Jack here. I already got it open. Uh, I'm going to go open and go find it. Prefabs, map files, and I'm going to open the repository.jmf because we were in Jack with my VHE tutor game configuration. So here we are. And check this out. There's so many things. You got all these vehicles, um, subway station, boxes, like letters, um, it, just so much. And you can kind of just go through this and kind of pick out the things that you want to use. And when you release your map or mod, you just got to make sure to give credit where credit is due. And you're free to use them. Let's take something simple here. Uh, let's do this computer disk. So you'll see that everything here is grouped together. Um, but a lot of times the there's multiple entities here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, ungroup them. So. Oh, this whole thing's a punk wall. Actually, so why don't we take something that I know is multiple pieces. So right here, this is multiple pieces. Um, and when you double click on it, you get this where it's not really one entity. So if we make this a ungroup them, you can now see that they are each uh, separate things. Um, and basically, I'm going to undo re ungroup. And this is so it's so that way it's easier to copy. Bug and Jack where like it resets your view. But yeah, so. I will just control C to copy it, or you could even right click and hit copy. And I'm going to minimize out of this and open up this map, which is actually a map of my grandparents' house uh, that I was doing for fun. So I'm actually going to put this right here. I'm going to paste. And let's see. Turn it around. Boom. Nice. So that is the desk prefab that I just added. So that's cool. And there's nothing special you need for that. It's literally copy and paste. And now if we want to use models, um, that's a different story because we need to 
um, add them to our models folder and we need to make them a monster furniture. So what I'm going to show you is where to go get models. Um, and that's on Game Banana. And I have already browsed to these tabs because the front page of Game Banana might have stuff that uh, could demonetize a video. So I'm not going to show that. I'm basically just going to go Game Banana and search Half-Life 1. And it'll bring us right to the Half-Life page. Or, and another thing you can do is gold, Game Banana Gold Source Engine. Because you might not think to look there. You might just think Half-Life. But um, you're going to want to go here as well to check what they have. So what you can do is, on the right-hand side, just go to Prefabs. And you can sort through here if you want to. Um, you know, the other miscellaneous or packs or whatever. But um, I'm just going to... Start scrolling through here and kind of see what they got. And the page will need to load. It loads as you go, so it doesn't all load at once. Um, and there's plenty of things here. Um, but one thing that I really like is the Core 303. He is um, big into modeling and he's got a lot of tutorials. And he has posted this um, 30 Gold Source model pack, which um, I'm just going to use as an example. I'm going to take uh, his fan, actually. So that looks good. So I'm going to go download this. Uh, manual download. Download. And I'm just going to keep it in prefabs for now as the download location. Um, so let's see. Let's extract this model pack. And you can see I have other prefabs in here that I've downloaded over time. Just go through. Um, see what you like. Download it and incorporate it into your game. So let's see, where is that fan? So there's a ceiling fan even actually. Let's check it out. Yeah, actually this is good. I'm gonna need this. So yeah, ceiling fan and it's animated, which is even better. So this is what we do. Um, we can literally just take it, copy it. And I have um, in here my Half-Life VHE Tutor and models directory. I'm just gonna paste it right in here. And I do already have this open, so I'm actually going to close it because you will need to restart Half-Life for it to um, take effect for the game to see it. So I'm just launching it on my other screen real quick. So this is what we're going to do. Um, I have actually already incorporated a toilet in here. So you'll notice that it's covered in a clip brush and I'm going to hide them real quick because the monster furniture is what you want to use to place it in here. You'll um, change this model field and you go browse to your model, uh, but there's no hit boxes. To them so you need to cover it in a clip brush with this clip texture here that I have added to it you can see that there's two of them so one is kind of essentially the hitbox for the back of the toilet and one is for the um, the seat part and what that does is just makes it a little more realistic so if the player jumps on it um, they're actually standing on the part that you would think you can stand on um, otherwise if you just had one big clip brush that covered it um you wouldn't be able to stand on the actual toilet part so just take note of that so i'm going to open the entity tool and i'm going to go to monster furniture and they're actually in the featureful sdk which uh, i might make a video on um has a if i recall correctly another entity for um using models that might have hitboxes i don't remember um, so that'll be, that'll be cool to use. So anyway, this is just in the base Half-Life. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to go to model. I'm going to go to browse. And because of my game configuration, it already brings me to my models folder. So I'm just going to select ceiling fan. And then you can see it automatically will show the model and, um, allow us to place it properly. So I am just going to put it in the center of this room here. Let's bring it up. And let's see. I need to change the grid size real quick. Pressing the bracket key. Boom. Is that? It's not. I don't think that is flush. So. Uh, let's see. It's not exactly. I, I held alt. And it is allowing me to slightly go off the grid there. Yeah, that's as clean as it's going to get. So I am taking over right here real quick because uh, monster furniture entities will automatically fall to the ground. 
and during the filming of this, um, I kept running into it, and I had to Google search it, and it turns out that, yes, um, we need to use a cycler entity here, so I will be skipping to that. So... Might be able to do cycler. And... Try that, literally just try that. Let's see, can we bump into it? Well, it can get... That is hilarious. So honestly, what you would want to do then, um, is... Actually, I'm going to change it to monster furniture just so we can see... Um... Where the model actually is, and then I'm just gonna do anything. I'm going to make a funk wall toggle that is invisible and will act like the clip. So your bullets can go through the clip, but it, it cannot go through a funk wall. Or honestly, maybe we don't even need a toggle. Maybe we'll just make it a, uh, I think, texture. We'll see. It's been a while since I've done this. Let's see, there we go. Make sure it's under there, cycler. There we go. So that's how you would use a ceiling fan anyway. And just for fun, why don't we add the standing fan because that should work a little better. Stand fan, and we can just use a monster furniture with the clip texture for it. Um, so I will need to quit this. All right, we'll do a monster furniture already selected. Furniture model stand fan, and let's see. Stand fan. I wonder if that's going to have an animation. Maybe not. But anyway, we'll go for the clip. We'll literally just cover it. And that should be it for that. Ceiling fan is there. Fan is there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That is how you use and download prefabs and models. And models can be nice. Um, you know, they don't take up our speeds. They don't count as, you know, world brushes. So it's a little bit easier to render complex things. Um, but as you can tell with this, monster, uh, using models is a little finicky. Um, I think the featureful SDK has some additions to make working with models better, but prefabs are always really nice, and like I said, the community is great at adding prefabs and um, just giving so much back, so make sure to utilize it. Well, that was it for this one. Thank you for watching, and happy mapping.